So I'm a big fan of Minecraft Education Edition. It just keeps getting better and better, and it's amazing. But to add this coding in Minecraft uh, portal is, is just amazing. It takes it up another notch, another level. So here in portal.codingcredentials.com is where teachers and students sign into their account. As an instructor, I can go to Review Activities, which is what I spend my time doing. And then I go to Submitted, and every time a student submits an assignment, this is what I see. So this is my test account, so it's not a real student. And I can see the test account has turned in two assessments. By the way, they do activities where they learn how to code, uh, and they then take assessments to practice what they learned. It's the assessments they turn in. But here's what I love. They turn in uh, their make code the actual file with their code. If their code is exactly like the sample code uh, from the system, it will score it automatically. So this one failed automatic evaluation because the student probably created a, a different code. There's more than one way to code things. Um, but that right there is amazing that sometimes it's already scored. I just have to approve it. But I love having them add a screenshot because first thing I do is I preview the screenshot. If they built it successfully, I don't have to know the code line by line to know that it worked for them and they should pass. But I still look at their code because I can download their code and run it. Or I can click on preview and just take a look at it. This is a, a game changer. And basically, the intro course focuses on having them use a loop, and it's the repeat block in MakeCode. So I'm looking to see, did they use the loop correctly? Um, because sometimes they use it, uh, but if they only use it on one line of code, like for example, this four times here, well, four times three is 12, they could have just had the agent move forward 12 times, and they didn't need the repeat. Uh, but if it's something like that, like this one, I'll let it pass, and then I'll give it a pass. Uh, but sometimes it's just they could have made a better use, and I'll give them the feedback and send it back. But that's it. This was supposed to build a cube, which they did. The code was successful, and it used two repeat blocks. So you know what? I'm going to pass this student. Then I go over here and send it to the student. I mean, that's how easy it is, and that's how quick. Now, sure, if I have to download and run the code myself, that takes a few minutes, but what an enjoyable way for me to grade. I'm importing uh, some code and running it myself on my Minecraft Education Edition account. This is just, a, again, a game changer. I look at it. Oh, look, they built a wall with at least two bricks. That's a pass. Then I go to preview the code. And sometimes it does that. It says for index, but it really is a repeat block. It's kind of weird, but it works. So this one used a repeat block quite nicely. They even have a repeat block within a repeat block, which is, um, I don't know, it seems like, a bit more advanced, so totally a pass. And, and if I were to click requires further submission, I let them know, hey, I sent it back, here's what you need to fix. I can put my feedback right here. The student goes to the portal, they read my feedback, they can re-upload the code after they fix it. Um, it's, it's that amazing. So I just click send, back, done. I can see that this student passed. Uh, it's really amazing, and, and that's the bulk of what I do. I mean, there's a lot of other stuff here. I can manage students by adding students to my classes, and I can assign them the next uh, content. So for example, in the courses, I'm having my students do the intro, because really that's all we have time for. It's a science class, not a computer science class. but. I could give them the intermediate or the advanced if they get past both of these. 
Um, this is something I've never seen with Education Edition, and it is amazing. 